So last week on Doc's Eye TV, you saw us catch multiple speckled trout at daylight hours using the top water matrix mullet. Great explosions and a fast action video. On this episode, it was simply on the way home, we found the birds again in a deeper canal where we had to switch to the matrix shad and a golden eye jig head in order to let the bait go a little bit deeper in the water column to catch more speckled trout on the same day. Enjoy this episode of Doc's Eye TV. canal we've been throwing top water a lot lately on dockside TV under the birds gonna use a jig head today fish it in a little bit deeper bayou that way you can let it go down and these fish are a little bit smaller I said they wouldn't hit a hard bait but these are a little bit smaller we're gonna go with the uh, jig head the golden eye and the matrix shad all right I'm gonna go ahead and thread on a holy jolly it's a great color for Mimicking a white shrimp, which is what's skipping out the water. Just saw one right on the bank here. Usually when the shrimp skip on the bank, it's a bass. Usually. No bite though. Now right, let's turn the boat to where these birds are working. It's fishing in a relatively deeper bayou here that feeds like Pontchartrain and we got shrimp and bird activity right here in the bayou right in the backyard see the shrimp jumping birds hovering on them right on that point these fish have been mixed throwbacks and keepers that's typically more often than not what you're going to see but we've had some exceptional days lately on shallower flats throwing top water where the trout were just beautiful and we're gonna go with the holy jolly on a 5 16 ounce golden eye and you're gonna just do different things if the shrimp are up high you can just reel it in but with the jig head since it's deeper if you want to kill it let it get to the bottom you can do that too it's a good technique to have whenever you're fishing a deeper bayou. The shrimp will come up to the top whenever everything's in a frenzy. But whenever the frenzy settles, a lot of times you can just let the GK get to the bottom and continue to catch. There we go. Oh, man. My drag set a little loose. And they got, they got action in here, guys. I'm looking at a shrimp busting on the bank real tight to the bank and then as I brought it out there and I'm letting it fall in some relatively deep water here I just idled up the canal I can see the birds working way up here that's been really the whole trick for the last few weeks is like you have no idea where these birds could be they could be in the most strange place way up canals especially on a big incoming tide like we have right now i mean we're uh we're pushed up in here pretty good there it is. 
fish too. It's crazy. You think up in a body like this would be all a little throwback, but this is a good one. This is a good one. Look at that. Oh, holy jolly. Holy jolly. Bird fishing, you want to do it real fast, be real speedy with what you do. Get your throwbacks too. Miss up. If this is the size you're looking for right there. slows down and it's not fast and furious just let that get to the bottom that's why I'm using a jig head instead of a hard bait it's deep here 10 15 20 foot let it get to the bottom them fish will just you know just submarine back down just try some different retrieve methods Jolie Matrix, one of our favorite colors. Fantastic for this time of year when they're feeding on white shrimp. Right on the bank, saw that shrimp jump. When it's that, this is what they are. When they're dead on the bank, it's a green trout, like nine out of 10. Like you can see the whiskers in this bass's mouth, AKA green trout. Look deep in there, they got them whiskers. Look at that, look how long that whisker is. There's plenty of bass in here too. I've been seeing shrimp dead on the bank a lot today. What makes it fun is while you're going down the canal here, just keep your eyes peeled on the bank. If you see a shrimp jump on the bank, hurry up and throw right on it. And that bass is either going to jump right on it immediately as soon as it hits the water, or you're not going to get a bite. And then look for the birds, obviously. Hush, 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 hush. But if the birds aren't working like right now, this is what I'm doing. Calm down, calm down. Stop. It's pretty deep right here. So I'm letting it get all the way to the bottom. And I'm just slowly dribbling it back in. Now where I'm fishing is where the birds were about 10 minutes ago. So I know there's life and shrimp and all of that here. I'm just doing the poncha train pop. Letting it settle back in like 10 foot of water. And if I see a shrimp skip, I'll hurry up and reel it in. Throw it out there and just reel it under the surface. Right now, I'm not seeing any surface activity. So I'm just jigging it on the bottom. I 
wait before I jig the lure for it to get all the way down. All right, so I saw it hit by watching my line. When the line goes limp, that's the bottom. It's a good 10 foot at least here. throwbacks when a shrimp do come up high and when you see them shrimp jumping usually that's the nicer fish and when I do have to let it get down to the bottom I find it they can tend to be a little bit smaller there we go. So I came back up to the front when we saw our first flock of birds this morning no birds, obviously, but like I said before, they had birds here before. The bait was here, the fish was here. Let's just gonna let it get down to the bottom with that holy jolly, pick them off at the bottom. The birds typically work right at daylight. That's a pretty standard thing. When it's bluebird skies, kind of like this, real bright, you only get a short period of time to do that. But you can still catch them without the birds. You need to be in the area that the birds were at. That's where the shrimp are hanging out at. It's just that action's not going to be as fast and ferocious without the birds and the shrimp jumping out the water. This is real fishing here, regular fishing. Whenever you see them birds, that's Louisiana at its finest. Just easy breezy every can. We've been seeing a lot of that lately. Jolie jigging it straight down. Hope you got to see just how we did that. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. I've been enjoying it a little bit more the last few episodes you saw us throwing top water for bigger trout under the birds. But today we had some birds and some deeper water, a little bit smaller trout. Switched to the Holy Jolie matrix on a golden eye jig head. Let it get down to the bottom and we jig these up from the depths. Actually had to fish for these. Subscribe to the monthly bait box. Get your hands on some holy jolies. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got plenty, a million videos jigging for speckled trout and deeper water, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time, good fishing. <laughs>